Good morning. <laughs> Surprise. Um, in the bed late and up early. I'm normally not up as late as I was last night, but I was up pretty late. But duty calls this morning, I have no choice but to um, get up and be up. Um, I'm thankful for that, actually, um, and get my daughter ready for school. But I wanted to talk to you guys about um, small things. And so often as we get into the flow, hey, Dion, darling, how are you, of everything that we're doing, um, we're, we're always kind of looking for this big boom factor if you're an entrepreneur, uh, which most of you are who podcast, we're looking for this big thing that's going to be the answer to, you know, everything. Like, we're going to hit our million dollar goal because of this thing or um, we, we're just kind of always looking for the big thing. And I think sometimes in that we overlook the power of some of the smallest things making some of the biggest results in our life. And I want to talk to you guys about one small, um, I'm going to say simple, not easy, right? Because there's a difference. So um, simple is when you've gotten it to the point where you can do something um, with a measure of ease, but easy is completely different. But I wanted to talk to you about a simple practice that I think is super important that you use in your life. And for those of you who are seeing amazing results in your life and in your business, um, even you implementing this practice will cause you to see even greater results. Um, as you're coming in, guys, say hello this morning. Emerson Lee, that's the first time I've seen um, you or your name. I, I don't know why. Well, I'm rarely on my personal page. That's probably uh, one of the reasons. And I know last night when I came on, hey, Miss Rhonda, I could not see the comments, guys. So if you guys are commenting to me, I'm ever so grateful. Oh, good. I can see the comments now. I couldn't see them last night. Um, but I wanted to talk about the small we're, you know, as I shared before, we're often looking for such major things to happen. Let's let's look at this for an example. Um, let me do a quick introduction. Uh, for those of you you've never been on a broadcast with me before, I've had several um, new followers to my personal page. I'm actually spend more time on my business page, and that's Facebook.com/slash/buildwithtanya. But I'm a growth strategist business coach and mentor to women service-based business owners, helping them brand, build, and profit in their business while creating a lifestyle that they love. So I focus from a three-point perspective. I focus on abundance mindset. Guys, I can't even begin to tell you guys how important your mind is to this thing called life. Um, but I focus on abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building strategies. I have clients from around the world. I'm so grateful to be able to support them in creating more time freedom, financial freedom, hitting their six-figure goals, and not having to work as much. But that's what I do as a whole. I help people grow their business while creating a lifestyle that they love. And I wanted to talk to you about some of the small things we overlook. Um, think about it like this. Many, Some of you who come on, you may be married now, so... Um, it may not be a dating season for you, but you may be able to remember back to when you were dating. So maybe you were in a relationship with one person and then you that relationship ended and then you entered into another relationship and it felt like it was the same person with a different body. If you've ever done that before, put me in the comments. Like you dated someone, maybe it didn't go well and then you began another relationship and it felt like the same thing, like the same actions, that person was making the same actions, they had the same behavior, maybe not in the beginning, but after time you begin to see a pattern. And one of the reasons that this occurs is because although you may have changed partners, you didn't change your mind. Mm -hmm. Can you guys hear me? Although you didn't change Part, you, you changed partners, you did not change your mind. So you can purchase a new car, you can get a new home. Good morning, mom, how are you? You can move to a new city, you can start a new business and get the absolute same results if you don't change this thing right here. 
I can't even begin to tell you guys how important changing your mind is. And many of us maybe will do something new or we'll move on to you know, a new phase in our life where we feel like we evolved and then all of a sudden everything begins to look the same all over again. It's not necessarily because the action, because the thing that you purchased or the thing that you did wasn't good for you. That's not always the reason. Most oftentimes it's because you didn't change your mind. For those of you who are believers, do you know how much the word talks about our thinking and what we're speaking into the atmosphere? And so many times we may say something, right? We may say, I'm going to do this particular thing in my life, or we may speak abundance. But in our subconscious mind, what's being said is completely different. Like it's a whole nother thing. So you say it, maybe you go on live and you're happy and elated about what you're doing. And then, you know, as soon as you finish, or maybe you make a post about a new product or service that you have to offer, you start going into this phase of what if no one buys it? Or um, you, you go into all of these realms of um, what the Bible calls corrupt thinking. So I shared a scripture on yesterday where God said that we should let no corrupt communication come out of our lives and our words should only be edifying to the hearers so that it allows grace to them. Do you know that you, when you're thinking and when you're saying things in your mind, you are the hearer, right? And so you're removing the grace from causing things that you desire to happen in your life to transpire. You're removing that grace. I don't know if... um I see Ms. Rhonda putting the hand up, so I imagine that you guys can hear me. You guys tap the screen if you can hear me clearly, um, a heart or like or something, if you can hear me clearly. I know I had some issues uh, last night uh, when I came on. And then people, Ms. Rhonda, maybe you've noticed this. Uh, the people's names are just coming back up over and over and over again, the same names of the people who are watching. But your mind is the activator for everything you do and become. Your mind is activator for everything you do and become. If you become healthy, wealthy, wise, prosperous, you know, um, a millionaire, your mind is the activator to that particular thing. So your words are actually, I'm not gonna go too far, but your words are actually manifesting God's. I heard this example of um, if you meet someone or maybe you have a friend and you all go for lunch and you notice that something is different about them, right? Something is different about the person. And you may ask them, you know, what's the matter with you? And it's not necessarily that you knew exactly what was going on, but more than likely the feelings and thoughts that they had been thinking for however long they have been thinking them, they manifest into, you know, reality. And so whatever you're doing in your life, whatever you're saying, whatever you're speaking, those things are going to manifest and become your reality. So whatever is transpiring in your life right now is based on your thoughts. And I speak so heavily about thinking because it became um, very clear to me that I needed to police my thoughts. Like, very, very clear to me that I needed to police my thoughts. I, um, Whenever you're in a season in life that's not quite going the way that you want it to go, if you, if you become aware of what it is that you're thinking, it will be a direct reflection on what's transpiring in your life. Y'all don't hear me. If you ever get in a phase in your life or your business where things aren't quite going the way you desire them to go, awesome, Miss Rhonda, I appreciate you, um, where you desire them to go, it is aligned with your thinking. If you think about your thinking, you're thinking those thoughts. They're manifesting. They're continuing to come into your life over and over again. During some of the most transitional times in my life, um, opening a business, getting married, having a baby in a three-year time frame, and I was in a dysfunctional marriage as well, um, becoming a single mom after 14 years of marriage, you know, pretty much starting my entire life over again, moving my daughter and I to a new city. All of those times were very transitional for me. 
And although I wasn't quite sure of what would be ahead of me, I had to police my thoughts. Transitioning from a brick and mortar service based business owner to um, now consulting and working from home and changing my mindset about the money and revenue, how I would earn the revenue was huge. And, it, and many people never hit their goals because the last thing they do is attempt to change their mind. <clears throat> so they'll change their activity. They'll do something new or do something different, but they won't change their mind. I found that affirming and declaring where it is you want to go, it's not like it's a magic genie, right? You're not going to wake up and say, you know, I own a Bentley and you walk out the door and it's a Bentley outside. Not that type of thing going on. But it's, it's a concept of retraining your brain because whatever you say, police your thoughts. Whatever you say becomes what you think. And your thinking controls your emotions and your emotions control your actions. Think about it. If you feel in some type of way, <clears throat> it can be the culprit of you not doing whatever it is that you are setting out to do. Emotions. And this is another reason that many business owners um, don't have the measure of success that God desires them to have is because they operate their business off of their emotions instead of off of, you know, strategy or faith um, or even their thought processes. I want to share a couple of affirming affirmations with you on this morning. So I created an affirmation guide. Um, I really want to help entrepreneurs with what they think is the small thing, but with one of the most major things that they can ever do a measure of work in, and that's on their mind. So in my affirmation guide, I broke it down into six elements of life. And most of my coaching programs, they we focus on six different areas because I believe your personal life rolls over into your business. I know it does. And um, I've taken the affirmation guide and broken it down into those six areas, your health and wellness, your career and finances, your emotional well-being, your learning, things of that nature. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know what's going on. I need something to drink, evidently. Um, I'm not even going to say it's the enemy, okay, children? But I want to share just a couple of affirmations um, with you all within those six areas. One second. And I want you to think about it. You'll be able to use these. Um, the guide actually helps you to create your own uh, affirmations as well. So you can tweak them, make them your own. But I want to share. So in the first element is your mental and emotional life. Your mental and emotional life. Let me see if I can kind of give you guys a, a look. So this is, I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is one of the pictures inside the guide. This one says, choose joy, choose joy. So at the beginning of each guide, there is a scripture. So this scripture says, beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul, right? Remember, your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotion. So scripture tells us all the time the importance of policing our thoughts and our mind and um you know, our emotions. And so the first element that I highlighted inside the affirmation guide is your mental and emotional life. And I'm going to read just a couple affirmations from that for you. Um, I have the power to shift my thinking and experience peace. I exude love and attract loving opportunities and situations. Every day is a new day filled with peace, love, joy, and abundance. Those are just a few of the affirmations. There's over 120 affirmations in this guide. There's a space for you to be able to make your own affirmations. And then I also share with you how to use the affirmations in your daily routine and your daily life. So this next one is um, your financial and career affirmations. Guys, you got to affirm what it is that you desire. You have to tell your money and your money situation what to do. And I have a scripture before that that says, Job twenty two twenty eight. You will also decree a thing and it will be established for you. A light will shine on your ways. Here's a couple affirmations. 
Money flows to me with ease. Money flows to me with ease. If you're saying it's hard, you're in lack, listen, your your thoughts are going to dictate your your what you say is going to dictate your thinking. That's going to dictate your emotions and that's going to affect the actions that you take. So you won't you will never move in the way of where money is plenteous or doing things that are prosperous if you're saying the opposite of what you want to see in your life. How can we get that? Um, it's actually at the top of this broadcast, I believe. But you can go to bit.ly slash 2020 AG1, Affirmation God 1. Um, bit.ly slash 2020, the letter A, the letter G, and the number 1. Um, the next one says, my business flourishes and, and operates in abundance. My business flourishes and operates in abundance. My business serves an exceptional purpose in the community, country, world, and people are blessed each time they are in contact with my business, its products, and its services. I attract wealth. Listen, guys, these are the things the the scripture tells us all the time. You shall be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And the way that you renew your mind and you retrain your brain to think from a space of abundance, God said he wishes above all things that we um, prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. And remember, your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. So if things are showing up in your life that you don't want to see happen, you have to retrain your mind. You have to retrain your thoughts. Now, when you guys see me posting often about the work that you have to do, Many of us had it wrong for so long. Whatever you're doing on the inside is what's going to show up externally in your life. And that work is normally our inner work, our inner thoughts, how we're thinking. And so I wanted to, this was heartfelt for me, you know, this guide that I created because I understand um, what really breaks my heart is how many of you have ever taken classes, courses, whatever, and you never put the action in? It wasn't because the strategy didn't work. Um, you, It was your mind. It was your thinking. It was your thoughts, right? And until we retrain our brain into a space of abundance, until we get into a space where we're no longer sabotaging opportunities to grow our life, grow our business, grow our mind, we'll continue to get you know, unwanted results. This says, I have multiple revenue streams that are flourishing and producing a profit. These are things you have to say because what happens is as you begin to retrain your brain, so your subconscious mind may say one thing, but no, your conscious mind may be saying one thing, but your subconscious mind is saying something else. That's that, you know, those are the, the that's the perspective, the mindset, the thoughts that you probably had since a child. Between the ages of one and seven, we usually begin developing a specific mindset. And if it's not conducive for how we evolve and grow, we have to retrain that subconscious mind so that we begin to take action in the direction you know that we desire to go. So those are a few affirmations from um, two segments of the book. The next one is home life and relationships. Guys, you're an average of the five people you're spending the most time with. You are, right? And our relationships and our home life is like the soundboard for what we do in public, right? It's like God giving us an opportunity to practice. So here are just a few affirmations in the guide from that. My family is healthy, full of joy, and prosperous in all they do. I have an abundance of quality time and attention for my family and friends. I own a debt-free home of my custom design, right? I have healthy relationships that are win-win. It's over 120 affirmations I've created for you. Um, you can take them, make them your own. I really suggest that you do. Some of them have spaces beside them where you may want to put something specific, like a dollar amount that you want to achieve or a specific design that you want for your home. Guys, we, we read the Word of God but we don't get revelation of the word of God. That's what I feel. I think we just kind of like get the surface level. But the word says we shall have what we say. Because God knows that there is a transaction that transpires to us. We hear things over and over and over again. Thus the scripture that says faith comes by hearing. 
and hearing by the word of God. And so often we think, and listen here, so often we think that the scripture is the actual word, but how many of you hear from God all the time? That's the living word, right? And so God may be, it may be planting thoughts and directions into your mind about what he desires for you to do. Um, you know, that would be the word. That's the faith that will come by hearing the word. I believe God says every good and perfect gift comes from him. If it is, you know, words or thoughts that are prosperous that lead you to, you know, spaces of abundance, freedom, joy in your emotions and things of that nature, those are good and perfect gifts. Those are good and perfect gifts, guys. Um, let me see another one. Um, this Proverbs 16, 24, God is so good. So this is element for your health and wellness affirmations. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Pleasant words. The Bible talks about this all the time. I think we just, you know, kind of read it and don't fully understand how it operates and manifests in our life. He's given us instructions, right? So each segment has... Um, you know, a space for you to create your own affirmations as well as it's probably 20 to 30 different affirmations under each element of life that I address in the affirmation book. Um, I eat healthy daily and it shows internally and externally. This is under the element four. Let me show you guys again. So this is, you know, what the digital guide looks like. I have pictures in here that help you to visualize, right? Because, you know, I believe that being able to have a picture of things and see things helps us to manifest them more quickly in our lives. It says, I and my family love to eat healthy foods. Taking care of myself feels amazing. Yeah, I don't hear me. These affirmations are so, you know, it's, I knew that this was, um, this was part of God's, God's heart as I was creating it because everything was just flowing. It, I mean, the affirmations were just coming. Now, I did include some of the affirmations that I use. I was actually seeing if I had, but I have about 30 affirmations that I say. Um, I've been saying them for years. They're on like an index card. They've gotten so old, I put tape on them, right? Um, my daughter created affirmations, and now, you know, I didn't upgrade it a little bit. I got a laminating machine, so I laminated hers, but um, I say about 30 affirmations, and at this point, because I've been saying them so much, just periodically throughout the day, I say them. Now, the scripture talks about us casting down um, imaginations. So oftentimes when you set out to do something different, um, in your life or your business, you ha start having all these thoughts about what could go wrong. And the way that you cast those things down is to shift them and make it a positive outcome. This doesn't mean that you um, don't do things strategically in your life and your business. It doesn't mean you just jump and say, God, catch me. But it helps you to remove some of maybe the fear or the negative thoughts that you may have about whatever it is that you are desiring to do in your life. You cast them down by um, changing what it is that you're saying. And in the same process, you're, tra you're retraining your brain. You're retraining your brain. Um, the next element is your social and cultural life. Um, again, you know, there are pictures uh, throughout the affirmations book. Um, these affirmations say, I help people every day. I generate new ideas and new energy from my connection with people. I am connected to my community. Guys, we were created to be connected. We were created to be connected. Um, and then element six is your learning and your education and self-improvement. These are all affirmations that align with that particular element. Um, but the affirmation book is available. It is Regularly $21, it's digital, um, but it's $9.97 on today. So it's only $9.97 is something I'm offering as my five days, five ways for Black Friday. And, you know, I share, as I was creating it, it was just flowing. I almost didn't do it, you know, because I was thinking it's such a small thing, right? But so many times we overlook the small things that make a significant difference in our lives. Um, the way that you command your morning, you command your day, the way that you work through things. So it's not as much about what happens to you, but how you handle it. 
and your thinking is going to make a big difference in how you handle all the stuff that life brings your way. All of the fears, all of the, the, the moments that you need courage to do something that you haven't done before, the moment that you need stamina to move forward and continue on when things may not go well. Prime example, when I was doing the, the ebook and I was placing it in the ebook store, I ain't even gonna tell y'all how many hours <laughs> it took me just to get it in the ebook store, but you know, I began to affirm what it was that I was doing. I knew that it would be impactful for those who purchased it and those who actually used it. So guys, I don't even want you to just purchase it. I don't. I know it's 997, so it's something that you can purchase and forget all about. I really want you to purchase it and apply it. Begin making it part of your daily life. You're going to notice once you begin looking at those affirmations um and and this is what happened to me as well. I started recognizing how much my thinking was off much my subconscious mind that I desired and what happens over time right because we don't get in life what we want we get what we believe um, because it becomes a, a retrained process in your subconscious mind you begin to believe that it's actually possible and those things that you believe you can achieve let's think about the um and I don't know the scripture all the way, right? But you, you guys remember the Tower of Babel that they built in the Bible. They were going to build this tower that reached all the way up to heaven. And then God came down and he, he, you know, he changed their language because when their speech was on one accord, he knew that anything was possible for them. He knew that they would actually build this tower and continue to build it to high heights you know, hoping to reach heaven, right? And so um, when your thoughts, words, and actions are on one accord, anything is possible for you. And affirmations have been an amazing, you know, tool for me. I wanted to share some of my success tips with you all, and I thought this was an amazing way to give you all something tangible, something that you could also tweak and make your own and you could use on a daily basis. After you purchase it and you begin using it, I'd love to hear back from you how it's impacting your life, how it's changing your thinking, and how you're addressing and looking at the different areas of your life. Um, I pray that you guys understand that some of the small things make some of the biggest difference in your life. And if you go back to scripture, it says, if you're faithful in small things, you become ruler over much. You guys have a super, super amazing day. It's called the Affirmation Guide. It's digital. Um, it is uh, called Faith in the Industry, Policing Your Thoughts. Have an amazing, blessed, prosperous day. And remember what you say be behind the words, I am.